to make sure nobody gets confused, I'm going to show a couple of the silk books you want to purchase. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris and this is my channel We Love Comics. And I wanted to do this video really quick, so this is, yes, the third video of the day. Probably the only time you've ever seen that many videos. But I want to make sure people are getting the right book. I don't want to just assume that everybody knows what books to get. So I wanted to put that other video out quick so people that did know could get it, but I want to make sure. Now, this, these are books I bought years ago, and I was telling people to get these. This is the one that I was first talking about, and I made a little bit of a mistake because I said it was the first appearance of Cindy Moon. Uh, that is inaccurate. Amazing Spider-Man number one is the first appearance. Now, you want to make sure you get the 2014 issue series because there's a lot of different series of amazing spider-man so this was graded a 9.8 when i bought it and i'll show the prices of what i paid this is why i tell people to make sure you get these things early i only paid 76 dollars for this but this is when cindy moon first becomes silk so the number one is the first appearance of cindy moon but this is going to be one of the more popular ones now, there is also some variants. I only have one of them available to show. Uh, another one I don't own, the 1 in 10 Ramos variant. That's another one to get. But again, make sure it's the year 2014 so you get the right series. I think that is series either 3 or 4. Put it in the comments section because I don't have it memorized. Uh, this is another book I only spent $78 on. This is definitely a book to pick up. Um, as you can see, it's a CGC 9.8. Uh, this is Silk number one. This is the 1 in 25 Lee variant. This is definitely a book to get if you can get it cheap. Um, if you bought it years ago, you would have definitely done that. But, you know, not everybody is into comics all at the same time. So here's another one. This is definitely a key book to get. This is Amazing Spider-Man 4. But this is the Scott Campbell, the J. Scott Campbell negative edition. Another one that I have is the, um, it's all white and she's in black. So it's the opposite. But this is the rarer one. I don't know what the print run is of it, but either one, um, it's going to be a book to get if you could find it cheap. Probably not now if you're waiting the last minute. So this book, I got graded and came back in 9.4. So I paid a, a total of $85 for this book. I uh, expect to spend about 100 to 125 at this point. Probably going to rise. But this is definitely a book to get. There's also a color variant. So there's three different variants. So the color variant is the least, the highest print run. Then there's the negative variant. I'm sorry, the um, the white variant of it, it's like a sketch variant, and then this one's the negative variant. So this one of those three would be the most desirable. And this is the one that it, it's actually, I think it's rarer than what I thought. I mean, it's been a while since I purchased this book. I paid about $125 for this book, sent it in to get graded by CGC years ago. It came back at 9.8. This was the one... It's called the Comics Pro Edition. So it looks like the regular issue of Silk Number 1, but it's got this like brown paper bag kind of look. And I think, I could be wrong, but I think there might have only been 100 of these made. I know that this is a very rare comic. I really wish I remembered the print run, and I can't find it anywhere that specifically says it. So if anybody knows what the print run is, let me know. Um, I, I think it is, well, like I said, it's a very rare comic. So if you can get your hands on this one, you know, get it. But I was telling people years ago about this book, and you could have gotten it easily for under $100 raw. Now you're going to spend about 400 and up. So if you could find a deal at under 300 grab it, especially if it looks like it's in high grade. And I bought this one raw. So sometimes you may have to wait years because I bought this when it came out 
and I paid about $100 for it back in 2015. So it took three years, but now I don't have to spend three times the amount. So I want to stress this so much. If you see first appearances of a character, especially if you see them on my videos, now I can't guarantee that every one of them is going to end up with a TV show or a movie. I can't guarantee it's going to be a good movie or it doesn't get canceled. But that's the thing about speculation. You are taking a chance. So if you are going to take in a chance, and any kind of investment you're doing that, I mean, good luck in the stock market if you think it's a guarantee, unless you have inside information, um, you are taking a risk. But better to take a risk at lower prices, and there's my cat, I guess he agrees, at lower prices than more expensive. Because if this movie ends up not happening, or it ends up horrible, or something, whatever... I would rather have spent $100 on this 9.8 graded version than spend 300 just for a raw one. Because I could just imagine what a graded 9.8 of this book is going to go for now. I would assume, and I guess I'll find out when I check more in the next couple of days, that if a raw copy of this book is selling for about 300 as I've seen today... I would say a graded one would be at least between five and 750 at this point. So it's all about timing. Wait for deals also. Don't pounce on it if you just see the first one you see. Comparison shop. See what people are paying for the book. If you think it's too much, wait a little bit. You never know. There might be somebody that did not know that the movie was announced who doesn't pay attention to those things or doesn't watch my channel. And um, they may list something where you could snipe it and get a steal. I got two steals that I bought today right before I made the video. So there are deals that are going to be found. So wait them out. So that's it. Wait until the end to see the who's the surprise subscriber shout out. Share this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the video before. But um, actually, I'll save you the trouble. They are Sony is going to be making a Silk movie. Uh, whether it happens or not, I guess we'll find out. Again, keep in mind, there are no guarantees. So if you spend a lot of money and the movie doesn't get made, you know, don't blame me or don't yell at me. Yell at them for making the announcement and then changing it. But always remember, with any investment, there are risks. So I cannot stress that enough. If If you're going to spend your rent money to buy a book, I would suggest thinking otherwise. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, check out my other videos I did. Like I said, this is the third video for today. Wait until the end for the surprise subscriber shout-out. Hit subscribe. Uh, don't forget the, the cash back program. If you're going to buy anything today, you might as well get the $10 cash back if you buy $25 or more. Link is in the description for that. And don't forget, not you, not I. It's We Love Comics. And I'll tell you, it's a weird last name because if you turn around, she's definitely going to give you a moon.